Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a 360 video in Minecraft. If you've never seen one before, please click on the card and it will show you my most popular 360 video. I've split this tutorial into three parts. The first one being downloads, where we're going to download all of the software. Then two, installation, where we're going to install all of the software. And three, usage, where we're actually going to use the mod and I'm going to explain to you how everything works. We're gonna have to download four different things. The first one is Forge. Now Forge is the modded client that we're gonna use in order to install the replay mod, which is the second thing that we're going to download. Then the third thing is FFmpeg. You're gonna need this in order to render inside of the replay mod. And the last thing we're gonna need is the 360 video metadata tool from Google itself. All of the links to download all of this is down below in the description. Make sure for Forge to download the specific version that is in the video. And for the rest, just download the latest available update for your system. So once you've got all of that, we can go to the next step. We're going to start by installing Forge and then installing the replay mod into Forge. Now this is really easy. All you have to do is double click the Forge uh, jar file and you will get this window. Now all you have to do is select install client which will be manually selected and this if you have to change it change it but I would just leave it default and you press OK and it will add everything and it will say successfully install client profile forge for version forge blah 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 into launcher. Now after that we're gonna cut or copy this replay mod jar file and you're gonna go to your Minecraft folder. Now for me I have this selected over here and you want to go to the mods folder which is right here and you want to paste it in there. Now I actually have an old version in here so I'm going to get rid of the old version and replace it with the version 1.05 which I have now enabled. That was all we had to do for forge and replay mod. Now we're going to extract both of these folders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, extract them right here in this folder and I'm going to do the same one for this one just so that we can easily do it later. Boom, there you go. Now there's one more link in the description that I forgot to mention earlier. This is a path installer for the FFmpeg. You want to download this and then click it and drag it into uh, these two folders. You want to get it in here next to the ffprompt.bat. You want to get it in here and then double click. This will display this window and it will install everything that has to do with FFmpeg and it will probably take a while and then it will say succeeded. There you go, success. So I just launched Minecraft and if it's correctly installed it should say replay viewer, replay editor, all this replay stuff inside of the menu right here. Now you don't have to be logged in but it is nice so if you want to you can create an account on the replay mod website which will be in the description as well and you can create an account and log in and you can share your replays with other people. But for now I'm going to show you how to create a 360 video. So first of all what you want to do is you want to make sure that you go into options, replay mod settings, you want to make sure that everything here is on so record is on, record server is on, and this is all personal preference because if you don't want to see the recorder then you can turn this off. But I have, like to have it on so I know that I'm recording. Now in order to record a replay you just want to either join a single player world or a multiplayer server. Now I'm just going to go into a random world of mine that I have generated. So the moment you log in you will see the recording indicator at the top left and you will see in the chat replay mod recording started. Now at this moment it is already started so what you could do is for this example I'm just going to walk around. So I'm just going to make a circle right here it's going to be really short and run around and boom there we go. So whatever you do in the game is totally up to you. So that's basically what your 360 will be. So if you fly like all the way up to this area your 360 is going to be all the way to this area. So it really depends on what you want to do. We now save and quit the title which will save the replay file and now you can go into replay viewer and you will see your whole entire list of everything that you've done and I have a ton of them for all the time lapses. So I'm going to go into the first one, double click. You can press P to pause the replay, that's what I just did. So you can see my player here without a hat but that's fine. Uh, you can see him here flying around and if you press P again it will play the replay and you can see that I'm flying around in a second. Here we go, now you can see how I was uh, walking around. 
Now, in order to get more familiar with the mod itself, I highly recommend you to watch a few tutorials from the creator of the replay mod, which is Crushed Pixel. He has quite a few tutorials on how to use the mod, although I'm going to explain the basic things to you right now. So if you press T, you can see your mouse and you can do stuff. Now here with this arrow at the bottom left, you can see a ton of options. We probably won't need any of these, but they're just extra. From this point on, it really depends on what you want to do with your 360. Do you want it to be just a flyover like this, where people can fly around? Or do you want to, for example, follow an entity over here? Now, if you want it to be a path in the sky, uh, I recommend you watch Crushed Pixels tutorials on it. Now, I'm going to give you a quick example. For example, I want to start right here with this point. I'm going to press T and you want to press V to uh, synchronize this timeline with that timeline and then just press both of these buttons. This is for positioning and this is for the time. Now I'm going to press escape to get back into this view and I'm going to fly around to my second point which will be right here. Now although I want him to be moved a little bit further so I'm going to press a little bit further that should be fine. So if I press V again it will synchronize these timelines and now I can press the position and the time keyframe again. And now I've created a path. So what you can do now to view this back is you can click play camera path and it will play what you just made. Although it starts all the way from the beginning and as you can see I only started doing something at the 20 second mark so we have to wait a minute. So it's just gonna go through my two points that I set and you can see my character also moving down below. Now the next step to actually render the 360 video is to click on the render camera path icon over here. Now this is where it gets important. You want to select this option. The correct, I'm not going to try and pronounce this, but you want to click on the bottom one over here. And you want to have this on probably high quality or default quality. I have it on high because my computer is pretty good. Now the resolution is completely up to you as to how much quality that you want. I always render mine in 1440p, which is quite high resolution, but it still is pretty low quality because of the 360. You could go for 4K, it really doesn't matter. I advise you to use these two numbers. Video frame rate can be 30 or either 60 if you want to wait a little bit longer and have it more smooth, but I just have it on 30 because it renders twice as fast. Then we want to go to advanced settings and over here you want to select each and every three of these options. So these basically stabilize the camera so that your 360 will be at the same spot the whole time. So during the time that somebody is moving his phone or computer uh, laptop around, you will not disturb the viewer by going up and down and left and right. Now if you do want this, you can play around with it and render and you can see yourself what this does. Now once you've gone through all this, you can click on render and it will basically start rendering and that was it for the 360. When it's done, it will make a sound and that means that we're done. So now you can exit all out of this. We don't need Minecraft anymore. Now you want to go to your .minecraft folder once again and go into replay videos. This is where your recorded video will be placed. Now this will be the render video. However, you need to put some metadata in here in order for YouTube to recognize it as a 360 video. So that's what we're going to do now. So we want to go back into all of our software and you want to click this folder, the 360 video metadata tool. Boom. And you simply want to open this and run it. And it's going to open with a window where you can select your video that you just made. So you want to click on it and press open. Now you're going to have another window right here and you basically don't need to know what this means it's not really important all you have to do is press on inject at the bottom here and you want to name your video your new video so I'm just gonna write test for now and do save boom and it will say uh, true true and it's done so we can quit out of this and you can go back into your videos folder and you can now see this new video test.mp4. So you don't want to upload this to YouTube but you want to upload this. Now before you do this entire step of course you can edit this file first and then do uh, the conversion to a 360 video. So if you want to add text in the middle of the screen you can do it. Also make sure that you size it to the correct aspect ratio otherwise you're gonna have black bars at the top and the bottom of the 360. That was it for the tutorial if you have any questions make sure to post them down in the comments below and I will answer every single one of them. Hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want more of these tutorials please like the video why is my world not loading thank you Minecraft. Also don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video tomorrow take care bye bye. No.